Hello there again, YouTube. Is once again I, your gothic host with the most, Nox Burza, back to bringing more blasphemous brews. Today brings us to the end of the Whistle Piglets. I know, it's a sad fucking day for all of us. I hear taps in the distance. Somewhere there's bad bagpipes going. I promise. This is Whistle Pig, small batch rye, aged 10 years, a blend of straight rye whiskeys. 100 proof! Donkey, get down! Wish I had someone that could do the voice of Donkey when I was doing the voice of Shrek. That'd be fun. Anyway, so fun things about the bottle before we get started with how it tastes. I do kind of like how it's imprinted back here with the Whistle Pig uh, emblem. Press right into the glass. Even though this is just a cheap little uh, tester's pack. They still went as far as embossing their glass. That's that's kind of nice. I like that. Uh, nothing special on the back. Product of Canada. Whisk Pig Whiskey Company. Mimville, New York. Imported by. Got it. All right. Well, fuck it. Let's do it. This is what happens when you don't think ahead and take off the seal. This is also the only one that had a seal, which is kind of weird. Or maybe I got smart and took it off before I filmed the others. I don't know. Short-term memory. I smoke a lot of pot. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so this thing, the cork popped out without me wanting it to. And now I have whistle pig on my fingers. Yep, that is definitely whiskey. Cute, folks. God damn. All right. Ooh, this is going to be nice. The pouring. The pouring. All right, so it's like two dram. It smells warm. It smells oaky. You can smell wood fire. I smell a lot of wood, honestly. Like I know this thing's Asian uh, barrel, but holy fuck, you smell wood. All right, well I suppose. Uh, it smells like a campfire night with good friends. Toasted marshmallows eating some good shit. We need to do that sometime this year. Anyway. Oh. Oh, goodness, that is smooth. That is so smooth. Um, There's cats fighting in my background now. Thanks, kids. I can't redo this. Um, let the chaos reign! We pit them against each other once in a while, full disclosure. No, we don't. They just do it themselves. What do you call it when you rile her up and then you send her off? I just give her Snuggies. And then she gets all weird about it and then he riles her up. It's a vicious cycle, folks. I promise. Anyway, this is very warm. Uh, the bite is pretty nominal. It's only really on the back end when you're swallowing it. When it fills your mouth, it is the taste of liquid smoke, fire, and oak wood. That is what fills your mouth. From the front to the back, all the way across the roof of my mouth, which was pleasantly warmed. Not on fire, but warmed. Um, I... Tell you about the undertones of the taste, but it really just straight up tastes like a barrel that's been set on fire. There's no other real good way to describe this. Hi! Uh, I would liken this to the most pleasant way to possibly get kicked in the jimmy. This is... A 9.5 out of 10. Yes, I'm splitting hairs. There's also no other flavor to this except for burnt oak barrel. I've come to kind of expect a little bit more from higher end stuff. So, this is higher end whiskey. So, I am judging that. Otherwise, 9.5 ain't fucking bad. Like I said last time, go to Women's, pick yourself up a four pack of these things for, I think it was 15 bucks. I was three, uh, 
uh, or it might have been three balls. Three balls for 15 bucks, so it's five bucks per. Very cost effective. I've loved every step of this journey, and I hope that you have enjoyed it too. And uh, this is how you can be bougie on a, you know, tight budget. Bougie on a budget. Ooh, maybe that's a new series I'll have to start. No, it's talk. It's bougie on a budget. Anyway, some pre remix that I make into an EDM thing. I have been Knox Burzum. Peace, love, heavy fucking metal. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time, YouTube. Goodbye!